Forming CPR, the life you save most likely will be that of a, lot, of a loved one. About 88% of cardiac arrests happen at home. And so if you don't know CPR, you really should figure it out. Joining us now to talk about CPR and an upcoming American Heart Association Heart Walk is Laura Schwartz, our old pal, former White House Director of Events. And uh, we also have uh, CPR trainer Daniel Cortez with us. Daniel, thanks for being here. Thank you. Yeah, Corey, thanks for having us. It's so, a huge weekend in Chicago. Yeah, lots to talk about. First of all, let's get to this uh, this event in Grant Park that you're, uh, mm -hmm. you look like you're ready for you it right now. I'm ready for it right yeah. now. You'll see me in something similar tomorrow. You yeah. don't have to be a runner. You can be a walker. You can be with friends. Bring your colleagues, your pets. Tomorrow, we are at Soldier Field. Kay. It's usually in Grant Park, but because Lollapalooza sort of ripped up the lawn, right, right. all of the events are being moved. So Soldier Park tomorrow at noon. We start the program at 11, but kick it off at noon. You can come from the loop where there'll be shuttles coming across from the original point in Grant Park. Shuttles right. will be coming over. Right. We've got things like the lovables from the Chicago Bulls. These are We've pictures got, from uh, last year, I assume? These are last year. Yeah. That's a kid. Uh, Corey, he is a survivor of both oh. stroke and heart disease because, you know, Corey, here's the deal. One in three women will die of heart disease. But you know mm -hmm. what? It's preventable and it's treatable. And these walks raise the awareness, give great advocacy. We will raise with these 25,000 walkers this weekend because it's Soldier Field tomorrow, Oak Brook on Saturday, Lake Forest on Sunday. Covering all the bases. We will yeah. raise uh, $3 million. And what's awesome is here in Chicago, that money doesn't only stay here, but we get even more from the American Heart Association because of all of our incredible, groundbreaking, life-saving research that's done right here in the Chicagoland area. So it's pretty cool. That is fantastic. And I know you worked really hard this past summer to mm -hmm. get Lauren's Law passed. And that's a term I think many people have heard about but aren't quite familiar with. Explain how that came to be and what it means. Yeah, well, part of the American Heart Association is the advocacy that it does. And Lauren Lehman out at St. Charles. She went to St. Charles High School. She yeah. was at drill team practice, active, awesome kid. She fell down at drill team practice with the massive cardiac arrest. There was an AED, a defibrillator device, right there. There were two coaches, there was her whole entire team, and yet nobody used the AED and nobody performed CPR. When the paramedics got there, it was too late. If somebody would have performed that, she very well may have lived. So with the great support of senators and representatives in the state of Illinois and the governor, we got a law passed that was signed by Quinn last June, which makes it a requirement for every high schooler. Right as part of health to know how to perform CPR and use an AED before they graduate. Like you said, 88% of these things happen in people's homes. It's time to realize that we can all play a part in saving a life. CPR is easy, it, it, it's, it's knowledge, and knowledge is power. And I tell you, Danielle is gonna take us through the right way to do it. Danielle, let's do it. We've got, uh, we've got the, what do we call these? These are our hands-only mannequins. Hands and about 70,000 people are free to actually do CPR. Okay. They're afraid that they're gonna hurt someone, it's really important if you do hands-only CPR. So this is what we're talking about when you see an adult or a teen collapse right okay. in front of you. Yep. What you're gonna do is All you right. see that teen Show collapse. You, the first thing you're gonna do is you wanna make sure that you call 911. The second thing is you're gonna put okay. the heel of your hand in the center of the chest. Mm -hmm. You're gonna place the other hand right on top of it. You wanna make sure that your shoulders are completely over and you wanna press down. And once you press down, you're gonna continue to do this until EMS arrives, your fire service arrives, until you get tired, but this is going to help you save your loved one. And this is a pretty hard push. Right, so yep. you're using all your strength. You gotta think about it, this person is no longer breathing, they don't have a heartbeat, so what we're doing is we're gonna get their heart back going again. Okay. And what we try to do is use the song Staying Alive so that you keep a rhythm going, and if you gotta change off to people that are around you until the EMS get there, have a friend step in for a couple minutes when you get tired. Right, is the technique much different when it comes to a child? It is different. So when we talk about a child or infant, you're going to make sure that you give breaths, and that's going to be more so for your healthcare providers, your nurses, doctors, paramedics. Your hands only is only for your adult or teen that collapses. Got it. Remember to call 911, push hard and fast in the center of the chest. And Save lives. Fantastic. Yeah. Again, the event is tomorrow at Soldier Field beginning at? Noon, but right. we start programs at 11. It's going to be a lot of fun. And then 8 o'clock in... Uh, Oak Brook on Saturday and 8 o'clock in Lake Forest on Sunday. Fantastic. Ladies, thanks. Thank it's you. an important message. Thank it really is.